we're gonna do a what's in my wash bucket tour. Um, there's nothing really profound in there, just some products that I really, really like to use. Um, I guess actually there is one profound product that I would highly recommend to anybody who owns a horse or a little girl with snarly hair. Um, so uh, I actually use a tote for my wash stuff that I found at Home Depot or Lowe's. I think it was like five bucks. And I always outgrow my totes. Like I get more and more stuff every year and have to get a bigger bucket for it. Um, so that's kind of an ideal for a tote. If you're finding it kind of small and you need something else, you could always be looking for little carry-all totes that have like a handle on it. Um, so let's just kind of get started. Um, so I actually picked this up at Walmart. It uh, attaches, it gives you several different settings um, other than just water hose spray and it allows you to shut off and sh uh, shut on and off the water. So I'd highly recommend this because when you put the water down when you need to soap up, you don't want to be wasting water and running it all down your horse's foot. And then it actually screws off and you can put conditioner or shampoo inside of there and then turn and dial it to see how much you want to come out onto it. So it mixes it for you and stuff like that so you're not getting like just a huge glump of shampoo or something like that. I found this in the automotive aisle at Walmart. Um, I would highly recommend just getting a nozzle that changes um, just because some horses might not like this huge spray of water and so they might be more comfortable with a different setting. So that could be helpful as well. Um, and then I have two different sweat scrapers to scrape off water um, as well. Um, this one is my original one. It's just a black plastic one. This is the Oster one. Um, I actually just got it this year and haven't got a chance to use it yet because it turned to winter after I got it. Um, but it already feels like it would be more sturdier, more flexible. This one looks like, I don't know if it got stepped on, it would crack. Um, and this one just looks like more comfortable for your for your horse. Um, so this one was like three or four dollars. So i um, pretty happy about that. Uh, I use these uh, shedding blocks or grooming blocks um, for my horse. It's really helped during shedding season. I would highly recommend those. You can buy those at like Tractor Supply, um, tack shops for about like five bucks um, and just kind of aids in the shedding process and kind of uh, gets you a little less arm fatigue going there and kind of speeds it up a little bit. So I highly recommend these. Um, I also have a, um, I purchased this at Dover for like 12 bucks. It's for chestnuts. It's called the gal uh, the Gallop Color. So it's supposed to enhance a chestnut horse's coat. Um, I didn't really notice a difference. Um, you know, it didn't make a profound difference and be like, oh my gosh, it really brings out her color. I mean, so it's just kind of up to you what you want to do with that. Um, I have a large oversized sponge um, that I think I got at Dennard's Western Wear. Um, I also have retired some of my brushes. I keep some of brushes specifically for bath days and I clean them and I clean them and I make sure that when after I give her a bath, I'm not brushing her with dirty brushes. And so I always have clean brushes in there to give her. Um, I think these are called the Grip Tough um, brush. I think I purchased them at Tractor Supply and Orchlands for five or six bucks. Bucks. I really like these brushes because they last a long time. When you wash them, you can wash them easily, and they hold their shapes pretty good. Um, so these are brushes that I've used, and they almost look brand new just because I've washed them and they haven't like torn up from being washed. Um, I also have. Um, I've tried this once or twice with her. It's a hot oil shower works. And so basically after you give her a bath, you're supposed to get a bucket of warm water and sponge her down with some of this hot oil stuff mixed in the warm water and then rinse her off. And it's supposed to give her an extra shine and soft stuff. Um, it worked fairly well um, and she wasn't allergic to it, but all means make sure that you know your horse is not sensitive to it um, as a disclaimer. And then um, I actually picked this up for my sister. It's a human product um, and I'm going to try it on my horse um, and just kind of see how it works. Of course, I'm going to test it on there, make sure she's not allergic to it or anything like that. Um, and then 
I have uh, the Protec medicated shampoo. My horse always gets leg crud no matter how I try to keep her dry or keep her, you know, legs brushed off and uh, things like that. For some reason during spring she just gets these cruddy little scabby pulls hair off and so I've been trying to use this on her and uh, it seems to help her, um, you know, uh, to get it washed with this as well and it says anti microbial medicated shampoo for rain rot, girth itch, ringworm, fungus, and bacteria. So I think this is well worth my money. Um, and then I have Made and Tell shampoo, Made and Tell conditioner, Made and Tell conditioner. I use a lot of this stuff. Um, I have a extra cup pick in there as well. Um, I saw this, I haven't really done it, but it's baby oil gel and supposedly during a horse show you might rub your horses like underneath their eye area and around their nose to give them a shine. Um, you know, I don't show very much. I don't actually show my horse. And so I was always afraid if I gave it to her, would it sunburn her? Um, so I really can't say for sure on how that works. Um, and I just never taken it out. This right here is excellent. Um, it's SWAT fly repellent ointment. Um, it kind of just is a little bit more, it gives like if your horse gets um, fly rubs or fly bites right here on their belly and sometimes they'll get crusties and it'll just get worse and worse and worse. This really, really helps. It doesn't sting or anything. I've also used it kind of on her under eye area to kind of keep the flies off of there. Um, so this is I think like 10 bucks a bottle but it's really a great product and I would highly recommend it to anybody. Um, this right here, the jelly scrubbers, my jelly scrubber got kind of hard um, and it is actually too firm for my horse. It tickles her, she doesn't like it, it's not comfortable to her, so I actually don't use this very much, but I know a lot of people really, really like them. Um, and then I have a bag of horse treats in there. Um, nothing like bribery. Um, and here's a few products, like I carry a pair of scissors in there as well. Um, just because I cut my horse's hair, I don't pull hers, um, just because I haven't got up the courage. And I, the couple of horses that I did see that had their manes pulled, of course they might have been doing it the wrong way, they just did not, it didn't look like it was beneficial to their hair. It looked kind of sparse and the hair looked yucky and so I'm, I was afraid that that had something to do with it so um, you know since I'm not a professional and I didn't want to turn that my horse into that um, I just go ahead and um, trim her hair and just give her kind of a little do. Um, this one I'm interested to see if it works. It's a chamois. I was just in the automotive aisle and I was like let me try that but it turned to winter and so I haven't got a chance to do it but I'm interested to see if it'll help pull dust and help dry her faster and so we'll see how that goes and I'll, this is my profound aha moment product that I highly recommend it's called the wet brush and it's a human product um, that can be purchased at um, beauty stores. Um, I think it costs like eight bucks. It was actually, it's something that enough equestrians use that I actually found it at a, uh, a, a tax shop. And um, so basically it's uh, for brushing your horse's hair when it's wet and it just like glides through the horse hair. I wish my horse, like I wish I was giving her a bath to show you how well it worked. It doesn't snag. I mean, my horse has like a medium thick tail and it does really well just brushing it out and not creating more tangles for you to do. So it just kind of combs right through. It doesn't pull a lot of the hair out or anything like that. Um, so I highly recommend this product. Um, my trainer uses it on their Gypsy Vanner horses and they have super thick tails and it comes right through after they've had a bath um, through wet hair. I wouldn't really recommend it for dry hair. It just doesn't go through as well, but definitely after your horse has had a bath, it will c comb out the tangles without pulling, without ripping. So the wet brush is a highly recommended product. I suggest you get it and it will save you a lot of time and horse hair. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully there are some products in there that you could use and would like to try on your horse. Um, and have a good day.